Package welcome back, less than how to enable sensitive content warnings for FaceTime on iPhone and iPad. Apple has expanded its sensitive content warning feature to include FaceTime video calls. Previously, this protection was available only in apps like Messages, Contacts, AirDrop, and Shared Photos albums. When enabled, your iPhone uses on-device machine learning to detect nudity during live FaceTime calls and automatically pauses the video feed before any sensitive content is shown up. That said, let's get started. So first you have to launch the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. And then you have to scroll down a bit and choose the privacy and security option. Then you have to scroll down and select sensitive content warning option. After that you have to enable the toggle for sensitive content warning at the top. And under App and Service Access, make sure FaceTime is enabled. In iOS 26 or later, this replaces the earlier video messages option found in previous versions of iOS. When the feature detects nudity in a FaceTime call, it will instantly pause both the audio and video. You will then see a warning on the screen along with suggestions to end the call if you feel uncomfortable. From there, you can choose to resume audio and video or end the call straight away. The warning appears only once per session. If you continue the call, it won't show up again during that conversation. So, keep this important thing in your mind. For users under 18, Apple's communication safety offers similar protection and is managed through screen time feature. Parents can enable it by going to the settings app. Screen time, communication safety. This setting cannot be turned off without parental approval, ensuring consistent protection for younger users. And that's about it. So that's how you can easily activate sensitive content warnings for first time on your iPhone and iPad, depending on your needs. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and share it and do subscribe for more such handy tips and tricks. And I'll catch you up in the next one. Mm.